So this is a uh, piece E, I believe, from the 1.2.2 extra practice. Uh, so I have a folder with 1.2.2, so it's a perfect place to put it. Uh, it looks like I've already done it, even more practice. No, nope, that must have been me fooling around with somebody. Uh, so you can see a bunch of the pieces, but I haven't done the piece E, uh, at least not that I can tell. So I'm going to create a document in here, 1.2.2. Uh, I actually could have probably just done this in another file. Uh, piece um, part E. All right, um, I'm going to guess the front view is the left view, and I'm going to build in there and then extrude sideways. So always start at the origin, and this is, well, I forgot to write this down, one, two, I'm going to have to open this up. I wrote down all my notes early, but then I forgot to uh, get this one dimension. So I don't know if you can see what I'm doing right now. Probably not. And that's fine. If you go back to 1.2.2. .2 and find the file. More cat practice. And it's part AE, just down at the bottom, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tick marks long. Got it. Eight, nine, zero, point two, five. And each of the things here is, uh, I think you did see that, each is uh, point two five. So I'm going to do let the Computer do the math for me, and then the height is six times zero point two five. We're done. Going to look at the corner. Going to extrude it. Don't ask me why. I want to go into the page. It just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Uh, I got to go up here and change this to five times zero point two five. That should do it. I'm going to turn off these planes because they kind of bother me. Now I need to carve in the front and I need to carve in the side. I think I'll carve in the front first. Let's start a sketch here. And it's a rectangle and it's centered right here. And the height is, uh, pardon me, the width is four times 0 0.25. And then the height is three times 0 0.25. And then it is located two times zero point two five. For those who think I can't do that in my head, yes, I can, but just another way to do it. Extrude, and this time we are extruding a remove, and we're clicking on that, and we're trying to go through all. Check. So there's the top, I need to do the same thing on the side. So I need a sketch. And when I say same thing, I do not mean the same thing. I mean similar thing. And we're going to do a circle centered at the corner with a diameter. It's a radius of 1, 4 times 0 0.25. So a diameter of 8 times 0 0.25. That looks pretty good to me. Check. We're going to extrude that cut. This piece, I don't know, I'll do all of it. And, or actually, I guess I won't do all of it. It's weird. Uh, remove and through all. Check. And there is our piece. Now, I put this in the notes. A lot of people, I don't think, have the fantasy idea what I was talking about. I said, you can check the volume and the surface area. And I'm willing to bet we can't right now. So let's see if we can look at this. Oh, we can. Uh, volume should be 1.914. Got it. Surface area 1.592. Got it. I thought I was going to have to uh, assign it a material. I need that for like weight and things like that, of course. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it.